Hey guys, I'm Max and I think it's not too late to wish you all a Happy New Year 2017. Last year I finally managed to activate my YouTube channel um, where I want to share my art with you and how I develop and how I uh, progress with my art, how I challenge myself in different challenges. Videos I already uploaded are all only uh, time-lapse videos with music and I definitely wanted to um, talk to you guys directly and um, let you be part of my uh, thoughts and more of the struggles I have to, uh, to deal with when I'm creating my art pieces. You can check them out on my YouTube channel. They're all done in ink and some of them also with Copics and I did them for a No Shave November art challenge I challenged myself to do with because I broke up with the Inktober very early but also with the No Shave November I only did nine drawings in the whole month but at least I did nine drawings one month. Um, while I'm uh, full-time working as a creative director so that's uh, 30 days challenges are pretty tough for me to do um, the next one I want to do is uh, March of Robots in March of course um, that might be a little bit easier because I'll be um, on vacation in March so um, I will not try to do a time-lapse video of each drawing but I will try to do a drawing each day. This video is about also an art challenge I um, found last year in December. Marisan is a freelancing artist who manages to do really good work in different styles and challenges herself and many other artists in her Drawlicious art challenges on Facebook. You can check out her group. I put the link in the description below and also check out Marisan herself. Um, you can find her as Trawlicious Marie on Facebook and Instagram and also here on uh, YouTube. The topic of the Drawlicious Art Challenge of uh, December 2016, January 2017 was one or more characters from Alice in Wonderland in Art Nouveau style. Actually uh, none of that was anything I'd ever done before so I never did Alice in Wonderland characters as far as I can remember. Uh, I never did anything in Art Nouveau. I wanted to do it in uh, watercolors which I haven't done for a very long time um, and yeah this video is about my struggles and my challenges I uh, I have to deal with since I like many of the characters of Alice in Wonderland um, it was really tough for me to decide whether I should uh, do like the Caterpillar or Mad Hatter or Cheshire Cat. So I started some polls on Facebook and Instagram where um, I wanted to hear your ideas or your voices or your preferences. And pretty quickly uh, I saw that all of you were like, oh, White Rabbit, White Rabbit, do the White Rabbit. And um, then more and more Cheshire Cat went <laughs> to the front and um, yeah, that's why I decided actually to do both of them. I did Cheshire Cat and White Rabbit and I think they play together very well. What I did is I started to sketch out both characters so I, I looked for some references uh, in different styles like the classic animation style, Tim Burton style and I looked at different uh, pieces of them and I tried to, to mix it up with my style and mix the comp components of um, the different styles um, yeah, to, to get it more to my style. Because I didn't record the initial sketching, I'll be showing you the sketches I did for the final piece while I'm talking about how I usually sketch. Since I decided very early to do this piece on watercolor, I took some uh, Canson watercolor paper, I masked the paper with some tape around the corners and at the edges. <laughs> I made up my mind pretty much on how can I put the background to get it more Art Nouveau, how can I, I don't know, somehow put some forest in it, uh, Tim Burton style. So usually I start my sketching with a Prismacolor color erase in light blue. After that I refine my pieces with a Molin 360 0.5 uh, mechanical pencil. Since my sketches didn't turn out too refined and I still have some issues in uh, characterizing it really the way I want it and picturize it for myself, 
for the final piece afterwards I decided to refine it even more with a Pantel brush pen which has a very soft tip with synthetic hair and therefore it's very flexible for thin lines, thicker lines and if you move it quicker over the paper you get some rough lines, uh, some rough coloring, some rough inking. Um, and one thing that, that's really great about it is it's refillable, which I had to do after finishing Cheshire Cat for the first time. So I bought it last year and already did some of my work with it. You can find in my other videos and on my Facebook page or Instagram. After I finished the sketches on the page, I started inking it. For the inking I used Pigma Micron pens from 1.0 to 8.0. I used the different thicknesses of the pens to do thicker and thinner lines to vary with the line work, which is a very characteristic thing to do for uh, Art Nouveau style. So the outlines, the real outer outlines, uh, are really um, thick compared to the inner lines. Uh, this is something I definitely wanted to do because this is actually something I can do to keep it more Art Nouveau style. For the colors I was working with Winter and Newton watercolors. Suddenly it was January the 15th and the deadline for the challenge was the 16th last Monday and I also went on a production abroad on Monday so I didn't have the chance to work on it after Sunday so I took my watercolors and just started brushing out the background and having some uh, gradients, some transition from darker colors to lighter colors to, uh, to the more it gets to the Cheshire Cat. Here in the corners they didn't get so dark and dirty as I wanted them so I took my Kuretake ink and mixed it up with these watercolors and tried something really new for me and tried to really darken up the corners which went pretty bad first so I had to clean it up a bit but in the end uh, although the gradient is not really soft everywhere I guess it turned out pretty well it gives it some structure because it didn't turn out so soft and it really uh, helps you focus on the characters on the white rabbit which is really the lightest piece of the picture and then I decided to put some moon behind the Cheshire Cat in the color of its eyes just to have some focal point and to have something where the light is cast from and where the gradient on the background comes from and even though it's not really 100% Art Nouveau. I'm really glad I took on the challenge and I'm really happy about the result. I'm really glad I challenged myself doing it in watercolor because I really need training here. Nevertheless, I hope you like the piece and it would be great if I also could inspire you to take on Marisan's Drawlicious Art Challenges in the future. Um, she already revealed the new topic for the next challenge which is one of these characters as a human being. I think that is a great topic and for me it's really hard to choose whether I should do Shir Khan or Mushu. I'll definitely do some sketches for both and sketch around uh, learning the characteristics of both. So which clothing style would they have if they would be human beings and so what would be their, their mimics, what would be their facial characteristics. So have for Shir Khan, I think he has a very broad chin and everything. And maybe you can help me with my decision again. Uh, these two are definitely my favorites of these three. Since these challenges are monthly, I will do a monthly video for each challenge, like about one week after the challenge ended, like this time, so always around the 20th uh, of the month. Now there's not much left to say except, if you like my art, give me a thumbs up, give me a like on Facebook, it would be much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel and if you share my videos, if you share my art. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and 
I'm very open for critiques and uh, how to improve my videos or how to improve my art. So once again, I'm Max. I hope you all stop by again. Until then, I wish you all a great time. Hey!